When we started off, we had a different ending. The film ended with a sequence wherein Tony Stark is Iron Man, fighting Iron Man on the highway. And uh, it's not going so well for uh, for Iron Man, and Monger is stomping on him, stomping on him. And just as Tony's being stomped, the R8 would drive up and smash into Iron Monger's leg. The car would flip off into the air. Iron Monger would then fall into the hydrogen bus and do a big explosion. Well, the night of filming, we couldn't get the car to flip over. We had set up a big stunt where we're going to cable the car up, and it's going to go up a ramp, and it's going to flip and do all these things. They couldn't get it to do it. They smashed into a post, which most cars will flip head over heels at that point. Didn't work. We have another car. Like, do we do it again? We changed the height of the ramp. They tried going faster. They hooked it up to cables on the side. They rammed it again, yanked the cables. The car skidded. The car turned around. Would not flip over. There was something about the design of the vehicle that no matter how hard we hit it into this steel piling, it would absorb the impact and it wouldn't go anywhere. And I'm like, oh my God, we just wrecked these cars and we didn't get the shot. So Iron Man was supposed to grab the top of the roof of the car and split it open. So they rigged up this whole thing with hydraulics where these big steel claws went into the roof of the car and were supposed to peel back the roof. The cables break. Okay, no, you got it. Hook it up to a big, a stronger pulley. Stick it in. Pulls, pulls, pulls. Snaps. We said, guys, what's going on? What, what, what is happening here? Most cars, you stick in these clamps, it just peels right open like a sardine can. Not the R8. So everything that these effects guys had up their sleeve, they couldn't do.